So Frieza and King Cole get to Earth and you know they on negative timing, all right? They trying to beat Goku ass. And this where Trunks make his debut, all right? And he pull up like, I don't fuck with you fake ass bullies. Y'all not even on shit for real. I'm finna do the fuck out you. So that's when Frieza and King Cole start dying laughing. They like, this, this nigga serious? They start dying laughing at this nigga bowl cut. Bro. Everything was shits and giggles till this man started charging up. I'm telling y'all, bro, this dude Frieza started panicking. He was having Goku flashbacks in the middle of this shit. So here's when Trunks get on time and I, he whip out the gang sign. He start doing his gang shit and he finna shoot Frieza in the head. Frieza get out the way. He say he ain't gonna get me like that, but uh, unfortunately Trunks is finna get your ass like that. Trunks teleport up top of this nigga and slice him in half. We have the shortest fight of all time, y'all. Then he start playing Fruit Ninja with this man body just for good measure. Oh my god. So then he look over and see King Cole goofy ass in the cut. We don't even know why he here. Excuse me, let me go ahead and eat through you real quick. Shit crazy, man. This dude King Cole was everything but cold, man. It, man, was sorry as hell. So this here was our introduction to Future Trunks, and I'm not gonna lie, we all knew he was gonna be the cleanest nigga ever after this. This was the first nigga to make bowl cuts clean again, y'all. This is crazy. So then Goku pulls up after the fun is over, and I'm not gonna lie, y'all. This is one of Goku's craziest fits. He's a real put that shit on her for this one. Goku was trying to push the culture forward in his free time, bro. I respect that, because he's not all scraps, y'all. He's drip sometimes, too. And look at Vegeta in the back with this pink shit on, bro. He begging somebody to notice his fit, y'all. This is gonna be a common theme with Vegeta. And I'm not gonna lie, Vegeta really do be drippy, so I noticed the fit. I see it. So Trunks explains that he came from the future and basically in his world the androids come and f everything up so i'm here to warn y'all so that y'all don't get y'all shit fucked up can i get amen so trunks tell the gang y'all got three years to lock in before they come here and tweak out then he give goku some medicine saying that big bro you was finna catch covid and get knocked off the map in a few in a few weeks man. <laughs> i just saved your life so y'all ever been to the gym and y'all see two beavis and butthead ass niggas in the gym trying to outlift each other like ego lifting though so that's basically what happens with these two fools. But instead of lifting, it's fighting. So they just start fighting for the fuck of it, bro. No rhyme or reason. These niggas just like to scrap. Goku using one finger on this man, bro. It's level. Pause. I was finna say it's level to pause though. That was crazy. But Goku only using one finger to defend himself. I said, oh shit, what? Hey. So Trunks was impressed with this and was like, hi, you you solid with me, my brother. And he take off. So the guys lock in and start training for the next three years. You feel me? They get their reps in in the gym. So we fast forward to the future and the first batch of androids pull up, y'all. It's the junior varsity roster. These are not the heavy hitters, but I knew they were still gonna potentially be an issue because these niggas got shoulder pads on, bro. You can't can't be not an issue with shoulder pads. Bro, nah, look how unserious they look, though, bro. They don't look threatening at all. They standing next to each other. They look like the number 10, bro. <laughs> so these dorks are doing Hiroshima and Nagasaki practice reps on the city. They blowing the fuck up out of everything. They catch Yamcha lacking, and he gets done in the most Yamcha fashion ever. So that's when Goku pull up, and he checked this nigga for his job. So they fly off to a deserted area, because Goku went in scraps with no civilians around. I respect that. So they get over there, and Goku taking the BBW android to pound town y'all he doing that man crazy but y'all remember how trunks said bro was gonna catch covid so we thought goku was safe from that since trunks gave him the medicine but the fact that trunk came back from the future altered the timeline so then goku still got covid and again yeah, he got covid me imagine now he's about to get fucked up so now the android done flipped the script on big bro he's doing this man the worst way and now, I ain't gonna cap with y'all. I'm so disappointed in Goku right now because when you think about it, you really losing to a man that's built like a deep breath. So the android got Goku in submission. That man is finna tap out. But that's when Vegeta say, we not doing none of that. He basically told Goku, yo, I'm not letting you die to no sorry niggas. I gotta be the one to beat your ass. So for that to happen, I gotta beat up the sorry niggas. So he goes Super Saiyan for the first time ever and start tweaking out. He had the fat man running for his life. 19 just got hit with the meanest big bangers attack ever and got left looking like some fucking cheeto puff dust congratulations 19 you have been the first android terminated everybody clap it up Woo! This got Dr. Jerome scrambling, man. This fool take off. That man is worried. He start playing hide and seek with the Z fighters, man. So while the Z fighters are searching for him, he spots Piccolo in the sky and he say, hey, 
Who what? Back shots. He got there. He sneak up behind Piccolo and get sinister. Yo, Piccolo just got violated the craziest way, all right? Uh, condolences. Gohan come out of nowhere and hit him with a spike move because he say, I'm not letting my mans go out like that. Krillin slide Piccolo a Senzu bean and he back right. So now he mad as f that his booty just got violated like that. So he decided to lock in and start going crazy. Now, what y'all don't know about Piccolo is that that young man is broke as hell. So he say, hey, I need some bread. What can I, how can I get some bread? Oh, shit. I could pawn that nigga arm. So he rip his arm off. Now he finna take that shit to the pawn shop. So one thing about Jero is he is a certified pussy. So he flees the scene. He runs to his lab. Now, this is where shit really start to get interesting. Jero say it's time to whip out the varsity roster. JV... Head to the bench. But the varsity roster get on timing right off the wake up, bro. They murder Dr. Jero right there. So Android 17 turned out to be Justin Tucker, y'all. He kicked this man head off. So these two GPTs right here are Android 17 and 18, all right? They were programmed by Dr. Jero to kill Goku. That's some real deal haterade shit right there. But there's one more Android they trying to wake up, y'all. Now, I like to call this one Zesty Gronkowski because I'm not going to lie, bro. This, he big as hell and he built like Rob Gronkowski, but that cut is like a fucking middle-aged bisexual woman. Like, real talk, I wish he would have got a chance to ask Dr. Jero why the fuck he designed him with this haircut. Like, this freaky deke ass cut, bro. What is that cut, bro? So the Z fighters outside the lab just bullshitting, man. They not doing a damn thing. Just sitting there being stupid. Vegeta like, all right, y'all niggas playing, bro. I'm going inside. What is y'all doing? So they get inside and they see 16 about to get woke up. And Trunks like, wait, hold on. I could just I could just blow him up right now. So that's what he do. But Trunks, you got to understand that you are not him. You know what I'm saying? I was on your dick earlier, but I'm going to hop off because I'm only finna dick ride the best niggas. And you not that right now. Why are they still alive? So the androids looking at the Z fighters with no goku like wait this is our comp <laughs> nah no, wait this is our comp chicken wings fried catfish yams collard greens so then they like anyways go ahead and wake up the gay android these ain't no comp and they dip out the spot so after they leave vegeta like wait hold on. did i just get played like a she like i'm finna go hawk them down because they playing with a nigga now trucks like pops relax we all know you not cut like that it's okay then vegeta gut check his little ass bro watch out so that's when vegeta take off and find the androids and now he finna take on android 18 so yeah i don't know why he took on android 18 she beat the everlasting shit out this man bro got left with a broken arm and y'all know which arm that is i guess that's why he hit up boma and the z fighters as a whole just show how sorry they are without goku right here man we got this dude trunks getting hit from the back he and charge in and get put in a fucking sleeper hole 18 cent vegeta flying in the trunks look at them having some father-son bonding time bro this is just all bad back to 10 bro can you have some dignity nigga so yeah safe to say all the z fighters get put into their own respective spliffs they are packed up so basically everybody got their ass beat except krillin and i'm gonna be honest y'all krillin need to be put on a watch list so look y'all android 18 really taunting this nigga she looking at bro like oh you can't even fuck with us man and then she give this man a kiss but it's like a it's a disrespectful kiss on some better luck next time type shit krillin it's just no way you got horny off of that come the fuck on bro your comrades are on the ground so that's really all it took and now you now you finna lubricate some chat GPTs, Krillin? Ah, uh, get a grip. And y'all are gonna see why Krillin is so ass for this later, y'all. It's gonna come to the light, but we gonna get to it. So the androids take off and look for Goku. Nah, Piccolo hot as fuck, though. That nigga mad as hell. And the reason he mad is because he realized he got two bald niggas on the roster. He knows they're sorry. He understands that it's just not realistic to expect for these to put in work so you know what he do he say all right i'm gonna take matters into my own hands he pull up on kami and they fuse together he comes back on a different type of timing but ladies and gentlemen a new android has appeared on the premises this android is more calculated than any android we have seen before he is driven by perfection his ultimate goal is to become the strongest warrior in the universe he is coming for niggas heads Pause. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Imperfect Cell. This nigga's ugly as shit. Wait, hold on. Wait, this can't be the warrior I was just describing. Hold on. Z Fighters, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Just hit this ugly nigga with some raid perimeter protection. I'm not gonna catch just some raid ant roast killer. That nigga's gone. Like, you ain't gotta bring out no types of Kamehame highs, no types of key blasts. Hit that nigga with some goddamn bug stop, bro. He's good. So, yeah, like I was saying, a new challenger arrived, and um, he's here to start problems, okay? This is another one of Dr. Jero's creations, except Dr. Jero was all the 
the way freaked out when he made this one y'all he gathered the sales of all the most powerful z fighters he even gathered the sales of the most powerful non-z fighters like, how the fuck he get frieza and king cole sales so yeah jerome combined the sales of all those guys and created this guy and i know we're all thinking the same thing we just can't get past the fact that this nigga's ugly as shit i know i know but we gonna have to look past it y'all so cell get to earth and he's weak right now so he needs to absorb humans to get his strength back right and this nigga start moving like prime lisa and because he's sucking the fuck out these niggas i'm telling y'all cell moving like the high school locker room hoe where he just sucked the fuck out the whole football team so imperfect cell runs into piccolo and this is about to be a showdown y'all but like i said this is not the same piccolo that got his ass handed to him by them androids all right this the piccolo that fused with kami and came back looking for issues with any and everybody piccolo start charging up and cell start panicking piccolo start off light he say i'm gonna just touch you up with a key blast one time get your ass on that ground Cell try and come back on timing no 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 you're not putting in no work get your ass back on that ground so that's when cell start doing this bullshit piccolo like wait hold on i've seen this before you trying to hit me with goku's kamiyamiya <laughs> Hold on, I'm not letting you hit me with the Kamiyamiha. But unfortunately, that was not the plan. Cell shoots the Kamiyamiha, but nigga, that was just a diversion, all right? He pop up out that Kamiyamiha smoke and start giving Piccolo some back shots, okay? Now, this is just not good. Now, after the back shots, yes, Piccolo just got violated, but he's about to get violated some more. He sucks the soul out of Piccolo arm he sucks his soul out of piccolo's arm piccolo say damn sale i needed that arm for later bro i just re-upped on some only fan subscriptions you're tweaking y'all know folks don't play by them only fan subscriptions so piccolo mad as fuck right now he hit but sale and his goddamn fat ass eyebrows piccolo break free the z fighters pull up and then sale start monologuing he say once he go and absorb android 17 and 18 He's spinning the block and taking every one of these niggas' butts. And then he solar flare and get out of so there. So we fast forward a little bit, and this dummy nigga Goku finally gets over COVID, bro. It took him 87 years, but he's back, all right, finally. So Goku meet up with the Z fighter, and he's like, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. Cell and the Android look like they've been beating y'all ass. And I ain't been in the scuffle in a minute. So if I fight them nigga right now, I will get smoked like a second grader does a pack of Smarties, all right? Like, so what we gonna do then? Coach, you the strong longest nigga on earth if you're cooked we're cooked so my boy goku like i hold on i got a plan y'all meet me at the hyperbolic time chamber in t minus 87 z fighters like oh shit let's go bro we get to train with goku we finna get strong and shit let's get it. goku like man hold on hold on no i just meant the tough niggas all right trunks vegeta gohan y'all come with me the rest of y'all just chill on out at the crib, man. Y'all, man, find something to do. <laughs> so they pull up on Mr. Popo, and they finna go into the hyperbolic time chamber. And look, y'all, rest in peace, Akira. But God damn it, Akira, I don't think you know the damage you did to dark-skinned niggas in middle school with this character right here, bro. Mr. Popo at the lunch tables used to get brought up all the time to describe... Man, hell no. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm scarred every time I see Mr. Popo, bro. The niggas had too much ammo against me in grade school. Fuck this nigga right here. Like, bro, look at his design and tell me this ain't some shit akira what's going <laughs> so trunks and vegeta hop in that time chamber and they start putting in work so look y'all while that's going on the androids pull up to the kami house and they trying to look for goku but look goku not there you know who there the z fighters there all right so they like wait goku not here i ain't gonna lie y'all this might be free cheeks they finna run the z fighters for they butt and i'm promise y'all bro it's nothing scarier in a motherfucker like Android 16 one of your butt because there's nothing really you could do to stop it if he wanted to take it there y'all and that's a very serious topic so I'll leave it alone so now Piccolo mad because the androids pulled up while he was watching his Judge Judy bro you never interrupt a grown man's Judge Judy so Piccolo say let's duke it out somewhere else and they slide to another area and 17 like I could take Piccolo out by myself I really don't need y'all so I'm gonna box this nigga up Piccolo like wait if I just take out one of these niggas then Cell can't reach perfection and they haven't seen me since I feel with Kami, so I'm really finna put the beats on this nigga. No Dr. Dre. Y'all ready for this fight? Let's get it. Boom. They both start charging up, man. They charging up. Piccolo rush behind 17, throw a bow to the jaw. Then he start punching on that man crazy. Uh, look what he did to my boy Converse. Is yo shit nasty as fuck now. Oh my god. Check this out though. Android 17 caught a punch on his cheek. Like he's holding that bitch on his cheek like these, bro. He caught that bitch. And then y'all beware when somebody starts smiling while they get their ass beat. That mean they got some. They got some in their back pocket, y'all. So he he kicked this nigga in the head. Piccolo get up. 
say, all right, good one. And he immediately get back right. 17, get his obliques drop kicked. Y'all know that shit hurt, gang. I ain't gonna lie. After this, the fight start getting intense as hell. 17 got his ass pounded into the ground. I'm not pausing that. He get up and put this man Piccolo in a blender of doom. So then they start taking turns getting in each other guts, man. Body check after body check after body check. I love the negativity. Everybody's flying everywhere. This is real fights are back. So whole time this was happening, bro. I promise y'all, this nigga still moving like it's season two tilt to towers. This nigga was camping his ass off in that bitch, man. You know that one building nigga camp. So yeah, bro, still just in the cut, and now he's here. All right, and it's about to get even worse. So keep in mind, Cell really don't give a damn about no Piccolo and TN, right? He's here to absorb the androids, but the androids don't notice yet. So Piccolo like, hey, I need y'all to get up out of here. Y'all will die. He's tough. He will suck your soul up. And I mean that not sexually, bro. He will suck you for your soul, bro. Please leave. So yeah, Cell attacks 17. He trying to put that butt on him. Then he body slam 17, little shit. It's looking like it's over for our pal 17. Cell standing in striking position, Bro, it's oh, oh, Piccolo. Okay, good shit. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Damn it. Got your ass blitz. Cell walking over to 17, and Piccolo trying to pull a fast one and shoot him in the back. Cell tanked that shit, bro. All aura. He tanked it. And he ain't like that shit. So he spun back and gave Piccolo a knuckle sandwich for disrespecting him. <laughs> and oh, nah. Y'all thought that was it? Y'all sorely mistaken, man. He picked this dude Piccolo up, break his neck. Give him a key blast to the gut and throw him in the lake. Yeah, that man is donezo. So then he go and mix up 17 for the one time, and he's about to absorb his first android, y'all. Look at this nigga struggling in this. <laughs> Look at 17 struggling in this tail, y'all. This shit's so silly. All aura from Android 17 has been lost. So listen, everybody. We are now in the vicinity of a semi-perfect cell. God damn, that nigga is still chopped. <laughs> no bullshit. This man look like Pepe the Frog. He is fugly as shit. So 16 grab 18 and say, hey, it's time to get up out of here before his ugliness rub off on us. Bro, I'm not going to cap that nigga. It's so fucking ugly. Sales start moving like Richard Sherman out there. He intercept them boys. Then 16 try and punch this man in the face and he caught that shit with his face, y'all. Smiling hard as shit. Nah, you got to get out of there. But unfortunately, you couldn't get out of there because he shot so stupid. From point blank range, oh my god, you are now incapacitated, my boy. So this whole time, and I'm talking about the whole time, like since the beginning, Tien was in the cut, not doing shit. We all know Tien is a useless bitch. But Tien say, I'm done being the sorriest bald nigga in the show. I'm leaving that shit to Krillin. And he get up there and hit Cell with the meanest tri-beam of all time. Put that man in the dirt. Good shit, Tien. I ain't never seen you moving like that. Oh, you not done? Okay, he's spazzing. Tien was the nigga to give the androids an opportunity to escape. Tien, the Earth Savior. Tien, how was it, Tien? Okay, fun's over, Tien. He's still alive, and he wants your head on a shish kebab now, so you might be good. Cell rise up angry as hell that he let Caucasian Michael Jordan hold him back from becoming perfect Cell, man. And I would be hot, too. So he getting ready to really obliterate this man until the one and only Goku appears on the battlefield. He say, Cell, you really finna hit a nigga that's bald? Come on, bro. You cannot hit a nigga that's bald. That's not cool. Then Goku say, hey, just give me one more day, and I will come back and beat your ass and he instant transmission himself piccolo and tn up out of there sales in there like how the fuck he do that that nigga could how he disappear like though i need to learn that right there that's tough so he mad that he let goku and them get away but this gives him an opportunity to find the androids and become his perfect form now while all this was going on boma was in the studio cooking up she created a controller that would explode the androids at will them niggas was gonna get turned into some popcorn so right? couldn't say all right i'm not finna box with them niggas but i could be useful let me grab this controller so Trunks and Vegeta finally come out that hyperbolic time chamber and oh my god, them niggas look like some demons. Vegeta ready to beat somebody ass. Trunks grew his hair out looking like a bad bitch. Real rap is back. So Vegeta and Trunks spend a block on sale and they looking like some shit we never seen before. So Vegeta start powering up, y'all. And this nigga looking dumb huge right now. Oh my fucking God. Lay off the steroids. Even this man Cell is panicking. He like, hold, I didn't know that wasn't in my databases, bro. Hold on, when y'all when y'all was able to do that? Nigga, I saw you yesterday and you was not moving like the what you what? Hey, put me on your workout plan. Twitter. So by this point, Vegeta has surpassed Super Saiyans and he reached a whole new form called Super 
Super Vegeta. He could name the whole form after himself. You know he about to be on terrible time. So off the rip, he rushed this man and gut check him. He doing Cell like Garcia did Haney right now. Then he joined Weave Nation for a quick second. After a while though, Cell get tight. He like, bro, imagine if bad bitches was watching and this is how I'm going out. Let me tighten the fuck up. He finally land a hit on this man and this fool start laughing like Dr. Doof and Schmerch, nigga. That's when Vegeta come out of nowhere and shut all that goober shit up. I'm witnessing this man Vegeta dog the shit out of cell he is doing this man the absolute terriblest way that's not even a word then he start talking head he say hey if you get past me somehow by a miracle of god my young nigga trunks is in the back and he's on go right now trunks sitting in the back like what the fuck is this nigga he, he right though i will come in and beat your ass so y'all remember earlier how i said krillin need to be put on a watch list well i'm doubling down and i'm going even harder right now because this nigga's a s tier simp so he pull up to the battlefield with the red button thinking he drake or some shit i'm talking about he's so close to detonating these androids where they stand he's literally in the vicinity with the red button reminiscing on how android 18 kissed him on the cheek earlier Nigga, the world is in your hands and you're horny still come on this fool dropped the controller because his mind was busy being horny but after he dropped it the nigga alerted the androids with that sound and then he decides okay well shit we're here i'm fuck it i'ma just crush the controller because i want android 18 as my bitch Oh my god, bro, this man, dog, oh, Krillin, you just, if we all die, it's your fault. So yeah, the plan is out the window because of this fake-ass Avatar Aang, man, and I'm kind of pissed off, so let me go back and see what Cell and Vegeta talking about. Cell get up out that water and it's like, okay, you, you might be tougher than me right now, but I promise you if I was in my perfect Cell state, you was not beating my ass like this, so would you mind if I powered up? And you know Vegeta arrogant and shit, so he like, yeah, bro, power up. I need to see what that be like. So Trunks in the background like, it's just no way this meat-headed ass nigga is gonna let Cell power up right now. Now, after all the work he just put in, bro, all the lives that's going to be at stake because of this. Are we serious? Well, I guess, I guess we just going to have to live with Man, fuck no. Let me step in and intervene. There's no way we doing it. So, Cell starts scoping the scenery out to try and find Android 18 so he can absorb her and reach his perfect Cell state. Trust get up there like, wait, hold on, bro. You low-key ugly as shit still. Oh, my God. BZ said it earlier. Now, I got to say it. You ugly as shit. So, while he up there roasting this man, they both spot Android 18. And then they look down at Krillin feet and Trunk see that that red button is done for. Oh! Bro, what did that horny nigga do? So still trying to make a break for it. Trunks like, bro, watch out. I'm not letting you do that. Hold this ground pound, big bro. So Trunks doing this man very badly, but then he sees an opening. He see the sun and he's like, wait, don't I gotta... I gotta move for that. Solar flare, bitch ass nigga. Everybody in the spot get turned into fucking Helen Keller. He blind everybody. So now he got an opening for the Android 18. He start making his way over there. Krillin's like, nah, I'm not letting you lay a finger on my shorty ting. I'm not letting it happen. Try it. So yeah, then he absorbs Android 18. And every time he do this shit, it look nasty as hell. Like, who animated this? For real. Whoever animated this need to be on the same watch list that Krillin is on. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this is where all the fun is really about to begin. Look at how distraught everybody looks. Look at how anxious everybody is about what is about to happen. And then look at this nigga Vegeta. Well, I swear to God, folks be too cocky for their own good. But why are you well, why are you smiling right now? Do you understand what is about to transpire? Now, I will say this. Upon first look, I'm going to show y'all this man. And he has graduated from Chop University, okay? He actually don't look that bad. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everything in between. We are now in the presence of perfect... Cell! This man just looks menacing. You telling me I gotta fight a nigga that immediately after he transforms is shadow boxing? Oh, nah, I'm out of there. And can we take a moment to talk about that Perfect Cell theme song, bro? They was in that studio going crazy when they was making this bitch. I'm like, oh. So while all this is happening on Earth, Goku and Gohan are in that time chamber putting in some hours, bro. They putting in some reps. Gohan finally reached Super Saiyan. He looking like a little demon in there. Okay. So Cell is back on Earth, Lil Bro and Vegeta to the craziest degree. He is evading every attack. And when he does get hit by attacks, he's literally just doing it on purpose and taking them, bitch. So Vegeta like i've had enough i'm not going for this no more actually and then he charge up to hit this man with the meanest final flash of all time he's shattering the earth with this final flash this man cell doesn't even move out the way he gets hit by this final flash and half of his body is fucking gone and he's sitting there smiling oh yeah i knew shit was raps this man just tanked a final flash and regenerated his arm 
Vegeta is now panicking. He's sending every key blast he got stored in his ball sack right now. Cell is walking through that shit, still smiling. Oh my god, Vegeta, you might be done. Cell kicks this nigga in the air, flies up there, and gives this nigga a people's elbow into the fucking dirt. Vegeta, you're done. So now Trunks out there about to go ballistics. He powering up, and I promise you I never see no shit like this. He powers up and turns into Super Trunks, and oh my god, look at how buff this man just got. He out there looking like Broly. And the only thing I could think of while this was going on was yo, while Vegeta was fighting semi-perfect Cell, Trunks was back there just chilling. Nigga could have been took out Android 18. What? So now Krillin, you're in the clear. Trunks, it's your fault. Like bro had all this power this whole time, and he let Android 18 get absorbed, and he wanted to blame Vegeta for being cocky. Man, no, you was sitting there idly by. So now Trunks and Cell start squabbling, and they really throwing some blows. He low key doing it to Cell. Okay, I see you, my boy. Until Cell stopped playing around with this young man, and he starts toying with him like he was toying with Vegeta. Then Cell say, hey, I like you right here. You strong as shit. But at the same time, you slow as fuck. You're really a Mark Gasol player build ass nigga. So, I don't But I'm still intrigued. So tell me more. How'd you get this power? Trunks literally powers down from his super trunks form and is like, okay, I might be cooked because this nigga is dead ass talking crazy right now and I'm in a super trunks form so I have no chance. And he literally tells Cell, hey, kill me right now. I don't want to fight no more. I said, what the fuck, Trunks? You just gonna give up like those? But Trunks tells, bro, how he got the power from the hyperbolic time chamber, and he says, Gohan and Goku gonna come through and beat the shit out you. So, I mean, you could kill me, but you better watch out, bit brother. Still like, I right, bet. Say that. I'm gonna hold a tournament in 10 days, okay? Y'all better go prepare and come back ready to box, because it's finna get sinister. Then he fly off and turn on Minecraft creative mode and create his own stadium. I said, okay, he might be serious, because this nigga turned into a civil engineer behind this negativity shit. Oh my. Then this man get on the CNN airways talking greasy. He telling everybody that in nine days sharp, they finna witness a God amongst men in action. Then he casually dropped the N-word because there's nobody on earth that can stop him right now.